So guys, now let's discuss the algorithm or the steps involved in bit pattern matching. So to start with, let us take this as the input string as an example and this base bit pattern as an example or for demonstration. We already know that this input string do not match against this base bit pattern. So to start with, for a given base bit pattern, we need to compute two things. The first thing is called mask and the second thing is called template. So in order to compute mask from the base bit pattern, we need to follow two rules. Replace all the bits to be matched by one and replace all don't care bits by zero. So here you can see that all the bits which needs to be matched is to be replaced by one. So here the bits to be matched is this one and the last bit. So write it down like this and the don't care bits needs to be replaced by zero. All right. So this is the mask value that we have get. The second thing that we need to compute is the template. And in order to compute template, we need to follow only one rule. And the rule is that, that in the base bit pattern, replace all the don't cares by zero. So the template value that we get is 1001. So let's take one more example. Suppose this is the base bit pattern. And we need to compute mask and template from this base bit pattern. So mask value can be obtained by applying these two steps on this base bit pattern. So you will find that the mask value that is obtained is the following bit pattern. Replace all the bits which needs a match by one and replace all the don't care bits by zero. Similarly, you can compute template from this base bit pattern and the template will come out to be the following bit pattern. Replace all the don't care bits by zero as simple as that. All right. So from a given base bit pattern, you need to compute two things, the mask and the template. Once you computed the mask and the template, then you need to apply this algorithm. Whatever input bit pattern you receive or you need to match, perform the AND operation with the mask and whatever result you get, it should be equal to the template. If this condition is satisfied, then the pattern is masked. Otherwise, the pattern is not masked. I leave it as an exercise for you to apply this algorithm or this condition on these two input string and try to match these input string against this particular bit pattern. And you will find that the first input string matches, whereas the second input string do not matches. So there is not much to discuss any further in this bit pattern matching concept.